guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and things I feel passionate about. Um, I'm trying something new today. I, I have a video light which I'm super excited about. Uh, my dad, he actually also does podcasts uh, on health and supplements and stuff. So. Uh, the other day we were just kind of talking about making videos and he's like, you know, lights is like so important for video quality and I was like, yeah, I want to look into getting one. He's like, I have an extra one. Do you want it? And I just felt so lucky. So now I have this light. I hope, I don't really know how to work it. I hope that it's doing okay, but it just feels nice to have like different props for doing this because I'm enjoying it so much and thank you guys so much. I have like uh, for subscribing and just like hanging out, being there. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I'm not uh, doing a plan haul for one. Uh, and also this video, I don't know if you, it will make some of you feel a bit squeamish because I'm gonna talk about pests. Um, so I have thrips. Um, I had uh, found some muley bugs in my Hoyas, but lately they seem to be dormant, so I'm not gonna talk about uh, Mealy bugs. Uh, thrips though, they, I feel like they, they multiply so quickly and infest so quickly and they really love philodendrons, which I have quite a few and um, I've, I've been finding myself needing to be spraying and staying on top of them so much. And then sometimes I just think like, how does it work in nature? Like how, how can all these plants outside just thrive without being like completely eaten up by thrips? And then I remember in the outside real environment, it's not just pests, there's also, well, not just bugs that harm plants, there are also bugs that eat those uh, bugs. So I think some of you are getting where I'm going uh, with this. I am uh, talking about beneficial insects that are predators to the pests that hurt our plants. Um, and ever since I started this houseplant journey, my relationship with bugs have changed a little bit. I before when I'm outside, I get a little bit like squeamish with those like you know from the tree little like worms that hang by a thread. I used to be really scared of those little guys uh, to land on me, but because I have such a relationship with plants, um, I I guess I kind of feel like as long as this this bug doesn't hurt my plant, I, it doesn't really made me feel uh, that way, like scared or squeamish. So I decided that I'm going to give um, beneficial insects a try and, uh, and why not show you guys? Because I saw my friend uh, post on Facebook that she was going to do it and uh, it felt a little bit intimidating to me to not know the process. Um, so I, 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 contacted, I contacted a local company, I'll post their link in my description box below. Uh, they were really, really nice, professional, informative, and really quick in replying. Uh, and they, they sent out my products uh, a few days on Monday, and then that's when they took my money. Uh, and they su suggest for us to finish using the product within a week, because um, you know, it's, it's live um, insects inside the, inside the bottles. Uh, what else? And she said she said to use uh, some and then reapply a few days later. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, I've been keeping the thrips at bay. Uh, some uh, sometimes I still feel fine like a little bit, and I know then I feel like they just they could infest so quickly. So I want to. I know that this probably won't eliminate the problem, but I kind of want some helpers, you know. Um, so the week before uh, applying this, uh, I'm told not to use any neem oil or any other pesticides to, so then the, the mites that I am releasing will not be harmed by those products. I just applied on my big monstera earlier. I'm going to show you how to do it on, like, um, on my micans. This is a smaller plant so it's easier for me to show you. I have another Monstera that I need to do it for, but I won't do it in this video. I just quickly show you the products and and how to apply it, so then it kind of demystifies it a little bit. The product menu uh, manual is a little bit intimidating. It's very technical and it's kind of designed for people who have great greenhouses. 
So I just like, I messaged them, emailed them, and I said, can you just, I read it, because I want them to know that I did my homework, but could you give me like a simpler guide to using them? So I got the email back, and this is what they said. Hi, Amy. With the hypo, you sprinkle it over your soil, and the cucumbers sprinkle over your foliage. If you feel the cucumbers will adhere better, you can slightly mist your plant and then sprinkle on. So that's much easier for me to understand and to do. So I'll do that now. Um, so I'm going to actually, for the plants that I have found uh, thrips on the leaves, I will uh, put the, sorry, let me just go back a little bit. There are two kinds that I got and I'll show you the box. This is a um, temperature control box that they sent it in. And uh, they also sent it with cool packs. Although they said for the products to stand in room temperature, I kind of just kept it in here just in case. So I got two. One is called Predatory Mite. For, uh, um, this is what it's called. <laughs> I can also put the uh, product links in the description box below as well. And this one is to sprinkle in your soil. And apparently the mites would just live for the duration of the, the life of your plant. So you don't need to reapply. The, it'll, they will just reproduce and feed on. They will feed on uh, thrip eggs and fungus gnat eggs. So this would be really nice to have to, for a prevention too. And then this one feeds on young thrips on the foliage. And it has a carrier that is a brand carrier. This one, sorry, let me show you the name of this guy. Can you see? But I will also put the link in the description box below. Yeah, so this one is in a brand carrier. Actually, I can show you the what it looks like later. Yeah, so those are the things that I, I'm going to apply to my philodendromycans. I um, found one leaf with a couple thrips on it, and I've been spraying neem oil and soap water spray on it like crazy. Um, I really don't want to lose this plant. I love it so much. Um, it's got these like really, really beautiful velvety leaves and it trails beautifully. You know, the light is like blinding me. I don't know if I'm doing it right, maybe. Uh, I can't really see if you guys can see. So yeah, so I found a couple thrips on it and I really want to make sure that it, it doesn't get out of control. Um, okay, so let me just show you. This is uh, so when I was applying it on my, on my monstera, I realized that I am feeling a little bit squeamish about it. It kind of just looks like soil inside. Can you see? Boop. Um, I don't know if you can see. And uh, there are so there's a predatory mites in here, and they also have this other mite that's like food for them. So then they stay alive in this container. I probably should wear gloves when I do this, but uh, I'm not. <laughs> uh, so here we go. I'm just gonna apply this guy on the soil. And because they said to just sprinkle it, I kind of, and I got a liter of this stuff, so I'm just kind of being quite generous with it. The cap isn't really like fully closed. I don't know why. So I'm going to keep this paper thing on it so that it doesn't spill because I'm not going to be able to do all my plants at once, hopefully within the week. And then for this guy, I'll also show you what it looks like on the inside. It really just looks like like cereal flakes, bran flakes. Yeah, they're like microscopic uh, mites. So now I'm just going to sprinkle all the fo foliage. And I think this is gonna make a big mess because you know, the, the bran is gonna just go all over the place. But a lot of them will stick on the leaves. I'm going to put it on the ground. Yeah. 
And then after I apply, I kind of like spray it a little bit more so then the, um, the flakes really stick on the leaves. I'm imagining they just like, there's just so much. Um, and once they're on the leaves, they will just start doing their thing. And in, their e in the email exchange, they said that these mites would just stay on the leaves for as long as there's something for them to feed on. Uh, and uh, once they have finished eating, then... Sorry, I'm making dinner too. <laughs> once they finish eating, then they'll, they'll leave, I guess, go somewhere else where they could find food. Okay, um, yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like after I've sprinkled all over the plant. I don't know if it, I am, I, I'm overkilling it a bit, but, um, but yeah. My friend who uh, grows a lot of her plants in hydroponics, she has this like little uh, bags that you hang on your plant um, and it releases the mites that way. So that might be a, like a cleaner way for, people might pr prefer that. But uh, I'm just going to give this a try and later on they will have ladybugs in stock and I think maybe I'll give that a try too. But yeah, um, you know, one thought is that I am inviting these plants to live in my home and uh, it's not their most natural environment so there are a lot of factors that could maintain their health and, and longevity and helping them to thrive and uh, it's important, like I would like to make sure that these guests are happy and comfortable in my home. So I would like to do my due, due diligence to, to um, give them the best environment they could have, as, as good as they could have in, you know, within reason in my home. So this is why I'm doing this uh, and I hope, I'm sure it'll make a little difference. Uh, yeah, and that's my little video for today. Sorry Wolfie is not here today. And thank you, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, please click like, subscribe, comment, and say hi, or let me know uh, what you want to know a little bit more about. Ask me anything. Uh, yeah, that's all.